Hey gang, AV here, and welcome to yet another custom costume tutorial. Um, hosting it for you today is the Union Jack. He is uh, a British character from Marvel Comics. He was one of the invaders during World War II, and he's still around nowadays. Different guy, same costume. But he's one of my favorites as a kid. And you can check him out on my new gallery level which is Animal Vader's Custom Marvel car Characters uh, Part 2, something along those lines. If you just go to my planet, it's easy to find. It's right with all the other costume stuff. But um, today he's going to be showing you how to make your very own Snake Eyes. Now, Snake Eyes has gone through a lot of uh, different variations over the years as far as my costume is concerned. Uh, a lot of people have asked me how I made him and I'm just finally now getting around to actually making a tutorial for him. Um, but because he has gone through a lot of changes over the years, there are an awful lot of options that you can that you can use in order to make your own. You don't have to do everything that I'm about to tell you to do. I'm just going to tell you how to make him the way I have him right now. Um, but you know, you can do what you want. I think more than anything, people just want to know how I ended up making his mask, which is kind of tricky, I won't lie to you. But I have to be upfront and honest with you right now, uh, this particular costume is very um, DLC intensive. There is an awful lot of DLC involved with this character. Um, the good news is, if you actually have uh, the Game of the Year edition of Little Big Planet 1, uh, you'll have a lot of that stuff already. Um, most notably the Metal Gear Solid stuff. You need to have the level kit plus the Raiden costume in order to make this character. Um, but anyway, moving right along, some of the things that you're going to be needing are uh, some of these custom stickers. The custom stickers are on the left hand side of the blue square. You have the classic Arashikage symbol as well as uh, my custom uh, metal sticker. Uh, both of those are available on my level free custom costumes, which can be played on both Little Big Planet 1 and 2. Uh, if you haven't played that level before, then check the video description for both the video of that level to show you what it's about, as well as detailed instructions on how to find it over the network. Um, you may or may not also need that standard black square from Little Big Planet 1 and you're definitely going to need the lead pipe decoration. Um, I will tell you this much though, the uh, Rashikage symbol, which is in the top right hand corner of the blue square of course, um, the sticker by itself is too big to actually put on the character as it is. You're going to have to shrink it down. And in all honesty, by the time you shrink it down enough to actually put it on his arm, it's going to be a very 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 minor detail it's actually something that you can get away with not having to use at all to be perfectly honest but if you're anal retentive like me and you like to make it as close as possible you might want it so there it is uh, as far as costume pieces are concerned you're going to need a, a black skin. You can probably get away with making your own black skin, uh, skin by coloring in Sackboy with a black sticker. But, you know, you can also use the standard like Ninja Skin, the Logo Roco Black, Patapon. You might not want to go with the Venom. It's up to you. Depends on what you have and what you feel like doing. Uh, as far as the other character pieces are concerned, you're definitely going to need the mirror sunglasses which are from Little Big Planet 1. Uh, they're the Gerlakokovich <laughs> soldier helmet and mask, which is from the Metal Gear uh, level kit, actually. You find them while playing through those levels. Uh, the Sifiroth gloves are a new addition to the character. The, of course, the DLC had just finally come out after all this time of waiting. Um, that's what I'm using right now, but before then I used the wooden sword with my custom metal sticker. So you can get away with doing that if you don't have the Sithroth costume. Uh, the hero trousers is what I'm using currently. I believe that's DLC as well, but you can get away with using just the PVC pants. I mean, that's what I used to use. Uh, the, the Noriko sword is of course on his back. 
it's not exactly what Snake Eyes would use, but it kind of reminds me a little bit of his Falcon Sword. And it gives a little added touch to just having that draped over his back. And of course you want the Raiden Vest. Um, I use the Raiden Vest, which is of course a Metal Gear Solid uh, costume piece as well. But I use it because uh, Raiden has the uh, the belt mounted short, uh, sword sheath. So it looks like, even though he's carrying Sifiroth's sword, it looks like he pulled it out of the sheath when you're running around. If you wanted a more commando looking snake eyes, you could probably get away with using, like, you know, a uh, solid snake's flak vest or something along those lines. But that's pretty much what I'm using, so without further ado, let's get started. We're gonna go up here, we're gonna reset the costume, we're gonna wash it just to be sure. Then we're gonna go down and pick the ninja skin. Next page. Let's go ahead and use the mirror sunglasses. For his head, the Gerlakovich. Oh, you know what? I think I spelled it wrong in the uh, notes. That's why I couldn't say it pro uh, properly. It's the Gerlakovich soldier helmet. So we do that. And I'm just going to close pop it real quick and show you. You see, the arms of the sunglasses are actually underneath the mask, which is awesome. Alright, moving right along. Is that it for this page? That's it for this page. Alright, for the hands, we're going to go with the Sifiroth gloves, which gives them the big honkin' sword. For the legs, we go with the hero trousers. For the neck, we go with Enrico's sword. And for the torso, we go with the Raiden vest. Now you can't really see it in this view, but he does have a scabbard for his short, uh, a sword sheath, if you will, on his uh, left hip. And as I was just saying a minute ago, you can get away with using just like the regular solid snake one too, if you don't like that particular look. That's a more of a modern commando-esque snake eyes. And of course, you would just color in the flak, uh, the flak vest black to uh, make it match. But we're gonna go with the raid. And yep, that's it. So now we go to the stickers and decorations. Now these are my pictures because I made these stickers, obviously. Um, your stickers after you play my level will be in your community photo section. I know I sound like a broken record when I say this, but I keep getting people saying I can't find my stickers, you know, I'm not, I didn't get nothing. Well, that's where they're gonna be, your community photos. Mine are in my pictures, so don't get confused. And I've already taken the liberty of shrinking the sticker down. I'm just gonna stick that on him so we zoom in again. Now you're going to hit L1 once to make him turn. And you're just going to want to stick that on his arm. See, it's so tiny you can barely notice it. You can definitely get away without having to use that. But, you know, it's all about the little touches. All about the tiny details that make your, that make your costume stand out, if you ask me. If you half-ass it, people will notice. Alright, so once you get that done... Um, you can go back and use the basic black square to color in his gloves, in case you don't like those silver bracelets he has. But honestly, it's kind of reminiscent of like the classic version 2 Snake Eyes, if you ask me, because he has the, uh, the silver gauntlets on that particular uh, costume. So I like to leave them on there. Then you're going to go to the lead pipe. 
Now this can get pretty tricky. Basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to shrink it down about that big. And you're going to want to make it as level as you possibly can. Keep his head as straight as you can. And stick it. Once you do that, just move it down a little bit. Make sure it's even, and then shrink it a little bit. Whoops, I turned it. Darn it. Once you shrink it, you're going to want to make the make sure the left-hand side is parallel so that the but it's still a little shorter. You see what I'm doing there? I'm not sure how to explain it exactly. Then you do the same thing. Bring it down. Whoops, I keep turning it. Darn it. Shrink it down. Same thing down here. And hopefully I can get this one done. Put you now. Yeah, that could be better. I'll go back and fix it. All right, now once you do that, enlarge this one about the same size as the first one. And then do the other side. And you're gonna want it flat. And then you just do the same thing you did over there. You shrink it down a little bit, bring it down, a little tighter. Alright. Left side's not bad, but I gotta fix that bottom one. Hopefully I can get that without... Alright. Now that's pretty much it. I mean, you want to fine tune it, you want to really want to take your time with it, but I'm in the middle of making a video, I'm not going to be a perfectionist with it. You saw the sack boy in the beginning, I took my time on that one. But you get the basic idea, basically you want to put, make them gradually smaller as you work your way down, make sure the center is even on both sides, and just make sure it angles in on the outside. That's how you get the illusion that he has his mask and it wraps around his head. But that's pretty much it. That's your custom snake eyes. And as I said before, you can mix and match other different pieces however you want. Um, personally, I like the flak, uh, the flak ve uh, vest from, metal, uh, from a solid snake. I might actually switch to that, but... Just to change them up yet again, but... This is how I have them. Sifaroth sword, Noriko sword, Raiden vest, and the Gert, uh, that G guy's mask. I'm not even going to try to say his name now. But yeah, that's how you do it. Alright. I've done tutorials on all these characters already. Be sure to check these out also on YouTube. Of course, you got the Black Costume Spider-Man, my custom Venom, custom DLC free Spider-Man, uh, Iron Spider-Man, and Spawn. And tune in next week on how I made Cyclops. Now, you're going to need some DLC in order to make him as well, but I've gotten a lot of requests, so I figured I'd do him next. Uh, if you like this video, and check out my channel if you like what you see there, then please subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.